Hey everybody, it's Ellie here. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another rant. Uh, be, 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 feel free to fucking click that X because if you don't like the video, then shut the fuck up. Get the hell out of my channel because I really don't give two champs. But I just want to go ahead and say something that's been that bugged me earlier today, Saul. And it was an amino post. So I just want to go ahead and read it. I'm not going to say who posted this because you all probably know him already and it bothers me to see this. So just give me one second to pull it up. Uh, actually, you know what, before I get started, I just wanted to go ahead and make a small announcement. Um, welcome back, Noah! We missed you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh god, he's back on the small YouTubers amino back, guys, and he's ready to stick around and lead more. So fuck yes. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, dabbing! Dabbing! Oh! I don't know. Um, that's probably gonna look horrible on camera, but either way... Anyway, oh shit, my phone. Ah, fuck. <laughs> okay, anyway. Wasting all my energy on this. Alright, so. Let me just scroll on down here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Scrolling through. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, where is it? Here it is. Alright. The title of this post is Quitting YouTube. Hello. Okay. Hello, I've been at this community for a while and it's really helped my channel somewhat. But recently I've been thinking if I should just stop doing YouTube. People always say I can't edit my content, it's not good, and to be honest, I agree with them. So this might be the last time I come to the community. That's how I feel about that. Now listen here, all right? To all, this is a rant to all the special, motherfucking, uncreative, swine-filled, filthy maggots of the internet. Now, that may seem a little harsh, but if you have had this happen, I'm sure you'd all agree with me that they are the, what I just called them. And I'm not gonna repeat it again, because that's a mouthful. Ooh, boy, new window. Anyway. These motherfuckers decide to come on your channel, and even some of the bigger ones, like fucking PewDiePie, uh, fucking, especially PewDiePie, god, he gets a lot of hate, but granted, there are a lot of times he deserves it, but still, it's still fun to watch. You still watch his shit, right? Either way, a lot of big YouTubers, PewDiePie, Markiplier, they all get these people to come on to their ch videos and just sit there and post negative fucking comments. Now, I don't know why they go on the famous guys, I don't know if they just want the attention, or if they are jealous of them, whatever your fucking reason is, guys. They don't give two shits about you, so just fucking stop. Don't even waste your time with that. However, the smaller content creators like me and that guy and a whole bunch of my friends literally sit there seeing these negative comments, and honestly with me, I don't give two shits what you say. As a matter of fact, if your comment is gonna be vulgar towards me in any of my videos or any of my content, or hell, just in my channel in general on the discussion page, discussion page, bleh, can't speak English, then I will automatically delete, report it and flag that shit. Because I'm a fuck, I don't give two shits what people think. I make videos for the fun of it. I don't care what you think about me as a person, but if you enjoy the video, it doesn't matter the person who's making it. It's the video that matters. Why the fuck are you so content, uh, so fucking focused on the person who's making the actual video? That's one thing I don't understand. To me, all you're doing is insulting a person behind a screen. You're sitting there. <laughs> you content sucks. <laughs> you suck at any. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> used in my most basement all day. This night, nasty comments. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off and all that many laddies. Oh god, my hair just came out. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> that sometimes happens. My hair accent will come out. That That's literally my 16th coming out, so apologies. But anyway, all you motherfuckers out there that just sit there doing that shit, why? What the fuck is the point of that? I mean, for God's sake, dude. Are you that fucking lonely? Are you, are you that desperate for interaction they have to sit there and just make fun of people now 
Me, I don't care what you say. I will delete, as I said, I'll delete your comment and recording and just all that shit if it's really that bad. Otherwise, I'll just leave it out there and let other people make fun of you. But, sorry, I have to take a breath there. <sighs> Oxygen. Um, uh, it, it's just, it, it blows my mind that people have this so much energy. But, you know, there are smaller content creators that take this shit to heart. And they end up deleting their channel or just stop and making videos in general and wait till YouTube suddenly notices it's a dead channel and just gets, just, just puts it on chopping block, you know? And, <laughs> chop reference, haha. -ha. Uh, but, oh god, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought again. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, no, but seriously, what the fuck have you done with your life? Have you done anything better? Are you brave enough to get on camera and fucking make videos? I don't think so. I'm sitting here screaming at your ass. I'm sitting here screaming at my camera and my microphone and then uploading it to a fucking platform for the whole goddamn world to see. <laughs> and I guarantee you, it's gonna be cringy as shit. All my videos are cringy. Let's face that fact. My editing sucks. My commentary sucks. Sucks bag of dicks, actually. Really, truly. I do believe that. All of my shit sucks. The only thing that actually makes my channel look good is my channel art and my channel icon. And I can't take full credit for that. Channel art was made on Bazoid. I just took a template that I saw and used it. As well as my outro. That's the same place where I got it. Just a template and I changed it up to fit my channel. And then the icon was actually drawn by my friend Dinocation, who is a great animator. Be sure to check her out. But, either way, the point is, that's the only thing that makes my channel look decent. But then you go to my videos and you're like, oh, God, oh, no, no, no. Well, then fucking leave the channel. Okay, don't just sit there on it, behind your screen, on a keyboard, tapping away. <laughs> no, don't go that. Shut the fuck up, Speeding Gonzalez. He's my roommate, don't mind him. <laughs> but, I don't know. It just bugs me that people do this and i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little backstory about me i and you know feel free to skip ahead of this i don't care but if you want to understand why this pisses me off so much and why it annoys me people waste their time with doing this then sit through it feel then just sit through it just sit, sit through the pain embrace the pain <sighs> uh, no but i had a stepdad my former stepdad and you know, I'm not going to name names, but if you're watching this, buddy, oh boy, I'm coming for you. Anyway, he used to sit down, he would sit down on his computer, and for hours upon hours a day, he would sit there on the forums, not Reddit or anything like we're used to. No, he would sit on, you know, website forums about snakes because he was a herpetologist. Now, basically, <laughs> oh boy, he would just sit there, typing away. Arguing with it with fucking motherfuckers behind a computer screen. He would sit there on forums all day long, typing away fucking on forums, yelling and cussing at people. And meanwhile, you're somehow trying to be a herpetologist. But you're a moron. And it didn't hit me at that point because I was young, keep in mind. But for me, ha <laughs> ha oh boy, now it's like, you're a fucking dumbass, bruh. But anyway, that's the reason that this bugs me so much. It's not so much the, in the fact that they're actually affecting people, it's more so the fact that these people are just sitting behind a computer screen and doing nothing with their lives, pretty much. Are you doing anything with your lives? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a job? Do you fucking have a career? Do you... What the fuck do you do with your life? Tell me, what do you do with your life that allows you to have the time of day, the time in, day, in the day, or the night, whatever, that allows you to sit there and type hateful comments? What the fuck do you do? Because to be honest, that sounds like a pretty sweet life. Unless, oh wait, are you doing nothing with your life? Because if so, oh no, fuck that shit, I'm out. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> no, but for real. Just fucking stop okay because honestly i don't give two shits but there are actual people out there you are hurting and i know you don't give two shits fuck you're probably typing away i can hear the t keyboard now 
even if it's not mechanical, I can still hear the type. You know, I can hear it. I can hear the 250 words a minute. Oh boy, oh god, in the comment section. And honestly, if I do see that shit on this video, delete. Delete, 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 delete. I will delete every fucking assholic remark that you make if it is way too vulgar. Because I don't give two shits what you think. Uh, if it's, you know, just like, oh, you're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> you're a dumbass, Eddie. <laughs> then, you know, I'll just leave it there and let you be humiliated. Because I do have people who watch my shit. I have friends that love my videos. And somehow, for some God knows whatever fucked up reason, they love my rants. So, yeah, that's just something that just makes me want to, you know, literally take off my hat. Ah! You know? Ah! Ah! Just go all Super Saiyan now, your motherfucking asses. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, you people out there that, ha that take the time of day, the time that you have that you could be using to better yourself and to actually do something that you can accomplish, sit in there. I don't know if you can hear this. This is you. This is all you fucking do all day. This is all you fucking do all day. Sitting at a fucking keyboard clacking away like a fucking mor- like an inbred moron. Turn on my computer. Um, I'm honestly at a loss for words with this one, I won't lie. I don't know how else to describe it, to be honest with you. And to be honest, I'm not sure what to really say about it. All I can say is, fuck off and all, get the sh fuck out of my channel, GTFO bro. And all you small YouTubers out there that have this, that have this issue and and see my video, don't fucking sit there and say, "Oh, well, you don't know what it's really like because you're fucking wrong." I do. I get negative comments on my videos since I started my channel in May. I've gotten negative video in champ negative comments. The reason you don't really see them, why? Delete, delete, delete. Because you have that fucking option to ignore their dumbasses and delete their shit. And if you're too naive to actually get that, then you should be on YouTube in the first place. Which I'll get to that in a moment. Don't be offended right away. Let me explain. But anyway, I know what it's like not only from that, but ever since I've gone to the public school system. Holy fucking shite! That was a nightmare, my god, dude. I, I honestly wanted to blow my own brains out because it was just so, just so much bullshit. And it didn't matter. Preschool, elementary school, middle school, high school. All that shit, I was constantly a target to be bullied. I'm not kidding. And over the years, I just kind of grew up and just kind of got tired of it. You can bash on me all why you want. I won't sit there and cry. Sure, it bugged me, but as I grew up, it just got to the point where I was like, eh, what the fuck ever. But then someone decided to make comments about my family. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Andre shit. Yandere shit, like, right there, mom friends. Oh, God. One guy in high school decided to come up to me while I was seeing some friends, some people I knew in high school, we were drawing together. We drew together, you know, I was in the same club as them. I'm sure y'all remember that. Um, and this guy came up to me. Boom! Slams hands on the table. Now this fucker I've had trouble with in the past. He would constantly make fun of me. And he'd be very passive about it. Like, you couldn't tell. It was straight up. It wasn't even straight. It was more so riddles. It was like he's just a riddle or some shit when it came to bullying. But, this today, I guess, I guess that day, he decided to be fucking confrontational and actually say something. And he just looks at me and says, like this. So, Connor, how's your dead father? Now, see, that is a... Uh... That's a line you don't cross with me. You don't go after my father. I still have his motherfucking ashes, you fucking pricks. Anytime that someone decides to bring that subject up and decide to say anything about it, 
I lose. Unless it's I'm sorry about your loss. I literally lose my shit. All I see is fucking red. What was he going to say? I don't really know. I didn't give him the chance. Because at that moment, right at that moment, I didn't pause. I didn't fucking hesitate. I literally jumped out of my chair on my feet, grabbed his scr his fat ass neck, and literally looked him dead in the eye with the stare of, hey, I'm about to kill you slowly and painfully. My friends, it took my friends five minutes, five minutes to get me to restrain myself and let go. Now, I wasn't actually choking him, but I was showing him that I had this ability to. I had this strength where I am not afraid to kill you on sight. And after that, he pretty much left me alone. He would say, hey, hi, and then, you know, he was kind of hunched away. That was my experience. And if, fucker, if you're watching this video, don't dare try to say shit that I wasn't sure because, believe me, we would both know. You were scared shitless. Fucking crybaby. Anyway, the point is, I have gone through bullying all my life. I have dealt with online bullying, real life bullying, bullying. Hell, shit, to the point where my life was right. And that's why I actually dropped out of high school. For some of you that don't know, for a lot of you that don't know, I'm a dropout. But yes, fuck off. I don't care. Am I still working towards my GED? Yeah, I am. But honestly, it's not my top hand priority because to me, a GED in a high school diploma is number with a piece of paper with your name on it. Tears up, burns, crumbles. T it, it, it burns, tears, crumbles up, uh, cuts up. It, it does all the same shit as normal paper would do. It's not a fucking golden plaque, so I don't really care about it. It's not that important to me. And to some of you, that is good for you. But don't let it become your life. Don't let it absorb you as a person, because then you'll lose your create. You'll lose your creativity that you have left. Anyway, at, back to the comment about um, what was it? Don't let people get to you as bad or um, the na the naive mind of deleting com not being able to de delete comments. Now that's not an insult, but here's the thing. Don't let m piss ant piss ass ants like that get to you, okay, guys? If your content is shit and you realize this, don't fucking give up. Work to make it better. You don't need flashy gear like this fancy ass mic I got. Sure, it's nice, but it doesn't capture my audio as well as I'd like it to, unless I'm shouting into it. <laughs> but that's why it's actually really good for my rants because it handles shouting really well. Holy fuck. Um. My camera is actually on a tripod, a, uh, what is it, a seven, f uh, it is a sun pack, sun pack for 4200 by, uh, XL, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. I'm reading it sideways, so, <laughs> but that's what it's on. It can go up to like 42 inches, I think, with an extendable stand. So that's why it's usually behind my desk when I'm recording videos, like gameplays and such. So you can see me better, but for my rants, I choose to move it up, which is a big hassle to switch all around, but I don't fucking care. Anyway, point is, I'm using a, a fucking Microsoft Life Cam, a little bitch-ass fucking webcam that doesn't do shit. But I'm using that because it's the only thing I got. Sure, I tried to get a Nikon camera when I got the stand, but couldn't figure out how to hook it up. I ended up returning it, but either way, I don't have fancy-ass shit. I'm still using a computer that I've had for four years now. Four years running. All this stuff you see here on my shelves, this is shit I've collected over the years, man. This is, it, very few of it is even recent. I don't even think, the only thing I can think of that's really all that recent that I just got would probably have to be fucking Battlefield 1 and my Zombie Hunter Vape mech mod. That's probably the only thing I can think of that's truly recent. Other than that, all this shit you see here, I, I bought this a couple weeks ago, this uh, flashing thing. It's an LED Bluetooth speaker, which is awesome because I'm going to hook it up to my TV and shit. And plus, I can change the source. comes with its own little cute remote. It's really badass. I really do like it. It's really good. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I, I, I prefer it. And if you guys have a dollar journal near you, run there and get one. Because it's only $40. And for $40, you get a hell of a lot more than you would with for a $100 or $900 speaker system. Trust me. You would. You will. <laughs> but... Side point, I'm just saying, all this stuff, all this fancy ass shit I have is just stuff I've gotten over the years. I spent 
I, I, I literally splurged on my desk in my new chair, but I had a de same desk for almost seven years now, literally seven years. So I wanted to replace it and get some better. So I got the Atlantic Gaming Desk for about 90, a little over 90. And then the gaming chair was over $90, as well, $100 as well. And I, I love this chair, I do. I haven't had I haven't had a nice gaming chair since I since uh last year. Yeah, last year. Well my ex was here. My you know, girlfriend time was here. Um, it broke. But anyway, either way, that's that's a story that I'll never go into. Anyway, the point is you don't need flashy ass shit. I'm using Smart Pixel. Fifteen dollars for a year membership. If you don't have if you have just a little bit of money that you could use to get something where you can actually do videos, go with Smart Pixel. It's a great program for beginners. I fucking adore it. Because it's really simple editing. It's a built-in recorder, editor, and you can actually look at your webcam. So you you know you turn on you select the webcam option and it'll turn on your webcam so you can actually see yourself. And you can see where it's around you and where it's aiming and all that. So it really helps with adjusting it. That's that's one thing I really like about it. But anyway, the point is you don't need fancy ass shit. So the people that don't make good content or their editing skills suck or something, honestly, using Windows M Movie Maker is not that great. Let's face it. Yeah, sure, it's free, but the fact uh, the fact remains that while it's free, it's uh, options, it's mechanics, all, all pretty much everything about it sucks. And trust me, I've used it. I tried using it before. Honestly. YouTube's editing software is better and that's a big fucking preach that's a big fucking check the cash to say something like that but it's true if you look at YouTube's editing software and look at Windows 7 the Windows Maker Movie Maker you'll see that honestly when it comes down to precise editing Windows Movie Maker doesn't do shit for precision while YouTube's editor does and Smart Pixel is precision is much better because you can move the segments and you can you know you don't cut you literally move where you want the segment to start so it's much easier much simpler for newer content creators and honestly if you have fifteen dollars laying around go up and buy that shit because it's a fifteen dollars for one year one year license which is actually really good and it's only over a little over sixty like sixty three or something like sixty three dollars for a lifetime. Now, I wouldn't recommend going with the Lifetime, even though that is a deal of a century right there. But still, mainly because you might find something you like better, and you have that Lifetime membership, and you waste 60 bucks on it, you're just like, oh, shit, I wish I had that 60 now. But, either way, the point is, get the year membership. There's also a three-year membership for, like, 30-something, I think. A three-year, two-year, two, three-year membership. I can't remember exactly what it was. But is that, you know, that balanced option if you want more than a year but you don't want a lifetime the balance is there in the middle the middle option so but i'm just saying it's a cheap editing software and it's actually pretty good for what it, even though with all the how much i bag on it how much i get pissed at it and it, how much it fucks it does fuck up it's a it, you have to be patient with it and you have to work with it instead of it working with you and that's that's one thing i would rather not I, i'd rather have the luxury of it working with me than vice versa, but I'll, but I'm grateful for it either way. So don't give up when someone tells you your content is shit. It is literally the worst thing they've ever seen, or if it's literally the worst thing they've ever seen, or if you have the fucking editing skills of a baboon. Oh, actually, I take that more of a compliment because monkeys are fucking smart, right? <laughs> yeah. But if you have the editing skills of a goldfish, maybe let's go with that because tiny brain. Oof. I don't live very long either. Kids, don't get a goldfish as a pet. No matter how much you want one, don't do it. Don't. Anyone that has kids in the future, don't get them a goldfish. God, please don't. That's just a hell to go through. I'd rather get them a beta or something, you know, something that actually can smarten to live. Can actually be smart on how to live and actually has a better lifespan. But anyway, the point is, don't get so di discouraged on making content. If you're doing it for the fame and fortune and shit, then what, you shouldn't be on YouTube in the first place. However, if you're doing it for fun and you don't care about sub counts and shit, then don't give those people the time of day. Please don't. Because it kills me to see people that want to make videos 
and I actually want to do it as a career, which I wouldn't mind doing either. I've just never really put much thought into it. Sure, that's been the thought's been here and there, but I never focus directly on that. I just keep doing it for fun. I'm a fucking... That's blasphemy, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of people on YouTube, that's blasphemy. But, uh, I don't know. The point is, if you look at... I'm also going to say this. Your equipment and your recording equipment, look at Jacksepticeye's first video. It's like, I'm going to go ahead and go with the very first video we ever done, which was a solid snake impression. Or snake from Metal Gear Solid impression, which actually was really good. But he explained his setup tour, actually. If you even look at it, if you want to set up tour video, he talks about how he had a webcam and used its mic and tucked it on his shirt, like, like buckled it on his shirt, basically, and used that mic. And that's why he never had a, his face cam in the videos when he first started. That was a smart engineering technique. Yes, the audio was still pure shit, but you could hear him much better. You could understand what he was saying much better, rather than being far away so he can actually capture his face and use his mic. Then he got a Blue Yeti mic, which was really good, and that's when he started doing face cam. Now, that was the point when I saw his Cry of Fear playthrough. Now, if you watch that, can you not see how fucking laggy that shit is? Like, my dear God, it was cringe, dude. It was cringe central with how laggy his webcam really was. And that's not me insulting him. I respect Jack Septica. I respect Sean. I do. He's a great person. And honestly, if I ever got a chance to meet him in real life, I'd fucking give that that fucker a hug. Just and and just tell him thank you for all he's done. Because as a content creator, you help. You can help people. And that's the main thing. If I ever did if it ever did my, become my career, I'd sit there and help people. I would hope that I would help others. I would do charity live streams. I would do charity stuff. Charity live streams, charity donation, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Anything charity, I'd probably do it if it was a good cause and I'd make sure the money was actually going to that to that cause, not into corporate pockets. <laughs> oh, fuck you corporate bastards like Google, Microsoft, fucking bunch of our shit. Anyway, the point is, Fairy Queen. <laughs> the point is, if you watch these older YouTubers, the famous ones, you know, the ones with fucking millions upon millions of subs if you there's millions and millions upon millions upon millions of fucking viewers that actually have subscribed to him and watched their shit constantly on a daily basis if you watch that you would see you would see that it is clear that they didn't have shit when it came to equipment no one does when they start out but then you start doing your research and you start getting a little better at it and you start thinking about what you could get for the good for a good price that could actually make your content better. This mic, sixty dollars. Well, with the spider arm and the power box, it was six dollars. Now it's been extra ten on the extra cable because it already came with one, but I had the you know hook the whole hookup system. But this mic was actually a hundred is a hundred dollars, a hundred and ten dollar mic. I got it for thirty, and then I added with the spider arm and the power box, frankly, bought together, best motherfucking invention Amazon's ever had. That really helps. All for sixty dollars because they were all all three items were on sale. Cyber Monday, fuck yes. Remember Noah actually showed him that. He was just, I broke him. I broke him. He was broken. <laughs> he could not speak English. Pretty much, it felt like I, he was literally flipping shit. But the point is. This is one of the best quality. A condenser mic is actually really good for recording, and it's probably one of the best things you can get for recording. But at the same time, I got it for less than it's actually worth. So, doing your research and learning how to make your content better is a good skill to have, and it's a good thing to do because of the fact that you can push away all the bullshit that you get. Because if people are commenting about your videos and it's actually, they're actually pretty entertaining to watch, other people will be like, fuck you, I like this guy. And I've had that happen as my quality has actually increased. My 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 commentary, I've been working at it instead of quitting. Don't quit YouTube just because a bunch of maggot, filthy ass maggot piss ants decide to say, <laughs> You cut to this shit. Oh, you ain't still suck big dicks. Oh, you'll never reach out or something. Who cares about the fucking suck out again? Oh, my fucking God. Oh, I'm not getting into that because seriously, I can't believe how many people actually care about sub count. 
That shit really pisses me off. The fact that people ignore everything else about YouTube and just go after subscribers, beg for it and shit. Circle jerk. Anyway, point is, <sighs> to the, all the ma filthy ass, swine filled maggot pissants out there on the internet that sit there and do this, move out of your fucking mother's basement already. And with that, everybody, th this is, I will end this video, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if, hey, if you're new around here, or, or even watching my stuff for a while now, and really starting to like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and that little bell for every, no, be notified for every up video I upload. And, yeah, previous video will be at the end, so be sure to click on that if you haven't, if you haven't watched a lot of my stuff already. And, thank you so much for watching, and always, as always, guys, this has been Ellie. The Psycho! And I will see you all next time. Cut! That's a wrap.